All right, Aki, I'm Shalawan, I'm Shalawan. It's the brother Yahweh Shapat from the GMS Camp of Fort Wayne, Indiana, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you brothers that's on the highways and the byways, pushing this word and truth and sincerity. To you, I say Shalawan. Now, um, this is going to be, Aki, I'm just... An impromptu through the spirit, but I'm gonna, you know, it's gonna be a, uh, my various topics video. It's gonna be an open forum. I want to start off first with uh, Revelations chapter. Let's see. Slovakia, Akia. I'm gonna start with Revelations chapter uh, 11 and verse 14. The second woe is past. And behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Meaning, hey man, the first, like, and that represents those woes represents death and destruction, which what happens during a war? You know, you have a lot of death and destruction. You know what I'm saying? Of wherever that war takes place. And hey man, that, that third world war is going to take place in the valley of Yahweh Shapat. You know what I'm saying? Uh and uh, like I was saying, that, that, like the scriptures say, man, uh, Revelations 11 and 14, again, the second woe was passed, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Elder Kazak just did a video on how Yahweh Shah is going to come quickly. You know what I'm saying? Like, and this place is going to be done away with uh, within an hour. You know, like the scriptures say, all of her plagues and all the uh, all of the destruction is going to be done on this place on this place roughly paraphrasing that scripture it's going to happen all in one hour man so that's you know that's a very that's very quick you know what i'm saying um you know we basically we living in the time of prophecy man and you know everything's going on to to two-thirds to, to two-thirds it looks like you know everything's continuing on as it had as it was you know what I'm saying? And they don't look for Yahweh Shah, so they can't they can't see the uh the prophecies popping off. You know, the scroll like the scriptures say, man, Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah didn't put the spirit on them, giving them uh 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 ears that they cannot. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get that, man. Because the only ones who are in the prophecy are the ones who the Heavenly Father is dealing with, man, which is the one third and the elect, you know. Uh but like two thirds, man, two thirds ain't gonna get this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai has blinded them. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna get uh, Romans 11 and 7. You know, because you got Jake talking about they Muslim, talking about they uh, they uh, part of the black consciousness community, talking about just just all types of different bugged out doctrines, and ain't none of them found the real truth. But ain't, ain't basically ain't nobody found the real truth but the elect, man, and the one-third who were elected to get this truth. You know, everybody else is into a bunch of uh, uh, bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But this is Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai have, given, have given them the spirit of slumber, Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day. And David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and recompense unto them. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow down their back all way. So, you know, two thirds, man, they can't get this truth, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, you know, like, like the scriptures say right here, it says, uh, and David said, let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. You know, uh, a lot of our people stumble at Yahweh Shah himself. You know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm going to get that in uh, Isaiah, I believe it's the eighth chapter. You know, hey, man, um, <clears throat> you got Jake out there that they claim to know that they believe the scriptures and then. And they claim to be Old Testament only Israelites, and they believe in the Torah, well, hey, or the Tanakh. Hey, man, Yahweh Shah was written and spoken about in the Tanakh. Like the scriptures tell you, he comes in a volume of this book. So how can you believe in one part of this book and not believe in Yahweh Shah? It don't, it don't matter what part of the scriptures you go to, 
Yahweh Shai has spoken about continuously throughout these scriptures, man. He's the continuing theme in these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? That's why he says I come in the volume of the book. You know what I'm saying? It is written of me. But um, this is why King David was uh, was saying, you know, hey, man, let their table be a stumbling block unto them. Because the scriptures tell you that uh, this is our table. As a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, this is your heritage. You know what I'm saying? This is your table. The scriptures tell you that uh, this truth, man, us teaching this truth, the scriptures tell you, I believe it's in Proverbs, uh, the Lord prepared the table for me in the sight of my enemies. This is that table, this truth. And Esau, the so-called white man, uh, basically meaning, you know, meaning the elites who are watching us when we put these lessons out, man, that's uh, our enemies who, who Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai has made this truth a table for us in front of them. You know what I'm saying? You may think your video ain't getting that many views, which Esau playing with the views anyway. You may think ain't nobody paying attention to you, but hey, man, these these elites, they scared of the men of the Lord. They, they know that these prophecies are real, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? And, and, and us putting these lessons out, it puts fear in Esau, the so-called white man. But I'm going to get back to the point, you know, when I was, uh, I just had Romans 11 and uh, 7 through about, I, I believe, verse 10. Well, uh, this is uh, Isaiah 8 and 14, and he shall be, this is talking about Yahweh, and he shall be a sanctuary for, and he shall be for a sanctuary but for a stone of stumbling and for a rock of offense to both the houses of Israel, for a gin and for a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and be taken. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, hey, man, that's what the scriptures say. Many of them, because two-thirds, that makes up a lot of the nation. That's a, most of the nation of Israel, only a remnant. It's going to come back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Only a remnant will be saved, man. You know, most of our people are going to die here, man. And, you know, just sticking to the spirit of prophecy, this third world war, I mean, this third world war is going to be fought with nuclear missiles. You know what I'm saying? Like the scriptures just said, uh, I believe that's, uh, let me see, man. Salaki, I can bear with me, Baba Kushai. Revelations 11 and 14, the second woe is past, and behold, the third world come, the third woe cometh quickly, meaning that third world war. Uh, this is Isaiah 9, and, and what's that third world war going to consist of? This is Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warriors with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. So this third woe is going to be fought with burning and fuel of fire, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, hey, man. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Jake just got to get in. Jake got to gotta wake the hell up, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, in all actuality, those who are who are allotted to be woken up, they going to wake up. Like Elder Pascal Bar said, you're going to have men and women coming into this truth at the last minute. You know? But, hey, man, we, we just... We pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that the elect and the one third get sealed, man, because after that, it ain't finna be nothing but pure hell to break loose, man. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and you know, hitting on prophecy again, you got the famine of the word coming, man. You know? The men of the Lord are not gonna always be allowed to go out there and teach pretty soon. You know, hey, Yahweh Bashem, when the elect get sealed, it's over with. The doors of repentance will be closed, man, which we preach in the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom. And the gospel of the kingdom is that, uh, you know, Yahweh Shai is on his way back. The elect and the one third will be saved from the troubles and the, and the calamities that are to come on this earth during the time of Jacob's trouble. Yahweh Shai and King David are going to reign. You know what I'm saying? And the elect are going to reign under them as the new governing body of the nation of Israel, man. You know, and, and, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom, meaning that we preaching uh, 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 to our people that they need to repent. You know what I'm saying? They need to pray for remission of their sins, man. You know, because the kingdom is at hand. You know what I'm saying? And uh, let me see, man. Like, like, like I was saying, 
you got the famine of the word coming, man. You know, um, pretty soon, hey, man, pretty soon it, uh, the men of the Lord ain't going to be out on the streets teaching his word anymore, man. We're going to be put up, you know, because like this, like the scriptures say, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah say, uh, you know, my spirit shall not always strive with men. Well, the Heavenly Father's not coming down here. He and his son, they're not coming down here and striving with you people, man. You know what I'm saying? They got uh, the men of the Lord, the prophets, to do that. Like the scriptures say, uh, if the Lord doeth nothing, he revealeth his secret unto his servant, the prophets. So that means the prophets have the answers that you people are looking for, man. You know what I'm saying? The prophets have all of the answers, man. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. He's using us to plead with his people, which are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. This is uh, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh Power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro and to seek the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. You know, so, hey, man, not only is it a famine on the word, famine of the word coming, but that, that this scripture is basically twofold, man, because the scriptures tell you that, hey, in that day shall the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst. It's a real famine coming as well. You know what I'm saying? Not only a famine of the word is coming, but a famine for bread and water, period. If you don't take the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, you're not going to be able to buy or sell, man. You know, and if the Heavenly Father not dealing with you, you're not going to eat during those times. You know what I'm saying? So, um, I'm going to get a... Uh, well, first, I want to get a... Uh, let's see. Hey, man, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get... Uh, uh, Second Peter's Akian, because I'm just kind of going with the spirit, man. You know, spirit got me skipping around, but hey, all praise, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, actually, I'm going to get uh, First Peter's 1 and, um, and 19. We have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. So, you know, we got to we gotta know, man, we got to take heed to this, to this prophecy because we're in a dark place. This is We living in the valley of the shadow of death, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, like the scriptures say, man, do well take that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place. That light is, the, is these scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is uh, First Peter's. No, this is Second Peter's. Salakia, Akim. Second Peter's one and uh, and twenty. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the Scripture is of a is of any private interpretation. So though a man may be reading these Scriptures to you, hey, if he in the right spirit, if Yahweh by some Yahweh is dealing with that man, he not privately interpreting those Scriptures by himself. That's the uh, the Holy Spirit moving that man. To teach those scriptures and, and, and rightfully divide this word of truth as he's supposed to, man. You know, we're not speaking this of our own will. This is uh, 1 Peter 1 and 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So even when you're doing your videos and you're doing your lessons, man, you got to know this ain't even of you, man. This thing's bigger than you. This is of the Holy Spirit, man, the Rakako Dash. And you know, hey, man, we got to pray to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai that he take not his Holy Spirit from us, man, especially in these times. You know what I'm saying? Because, hey, we need it. You know, we're going to need that oil, man. That's why we got to be immersed in these scriptures, man, constantly. You know, brothers got different things that they do for balance or whatever, man, and, and, you know, you can't always be into the scriptures, but, hey, as times move, as we move forward into more trying times, that balance is going to change, man. You're going to want to be more into the scriptures. You're going to want to be more into reading, man. The scriptures tell you, blessed is he who reads, man. You know what I'm saying? 
So uh, we want to be immersed in these scriptures. Yahweh Shai said, uh, uh, you want to keep your body, your eye single, man, your, your mind's eye. Scriptures tell you, if thy, uh, if, thy, uh, if thy eye be single, then thy whole body shall be full of light, man. You know? You know what I'm saying? So we, we want to keep our eyes single on this truth, man, especially more and more as the famine of the word is coming. Esau, the so-called white man, finna come down on us with great wrath. He gonna come for the men of the Lord, man. So we gotta be prepared. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, and, 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 and we sick of being in this fucking place anyways, man. You know, this place fucking sucks, man. You know, you, you, you fucking women are out of order. Children are out of order. You know, we got this, these fucking heathen ruling over us and in positions of power over us, man. You ought to be sick of this fucking place. Everywhere you walk around and, 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 and go, you might try to go somewhere and sit at the park to get some peace of mind, man. And you go to the, and, and somebody walk by you speaking some bullshit. You know, you got this fucking homosexual agenda that's being pushed like it's like, like, it, hey, hey, like it never has been before, man. That's how you know we living in these last times, man. You know, the scriptures tell you that the overthrow of Babylon is going to be as when the Lord overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Why? Because this place is fucking filthy, man. It's, 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 it's vexing to be around, to be in a, homo, in a homosexual ass society, man. And in an effeminate ass society, man. Your spirit ought to be vexed living in this fucking place. This is 2 Peter um, 2. And, um... Let's see, man. I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start at verse uh, four. For if Yahweh spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, hell being a condition, a state of living. You know what I'm saying? That we stuck in right now. Not talking about hell underground. There is no such thing, man. You know, it's different definitions for hell in the scriptures. One of them being the grave, and like I said, one of them being a state of condition, a condition of living. You know, we living in hell. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Hey, man, the Esau, the so-called white man, is in his is in his heaven right now. Heaven represents a state of rulership. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, <clears throat> this is Second Peter two and four. Well, I'm gonna start at verse five. Well, actually, I'm gonna. I'm going to keep reading verse 4. But cast them down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment. Those chains of darkness being these bodies, man. You know, we want we, we need the hell out of these bodies, man, so we won't get sick, so we won't fucking go off unwillingly and sometimes willingly, man. Because like the Apostle Paul said, man, in my flesh, I know dwelleth no good thing, man. So this is 2 Peter 2 and 5. And spare not the old world, but save nor the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. So what are the elect, man? The men of the Lord. We preachers of righteousness, man. You know what I'm saying? Pre-meaning to say before. I mean, to, 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 meaning to pre-meaning before. Saying before, man. You know? And I believe uh, Apostle Gabar went into that into that word preacher, you know what I'm saying? Which like pre meaning before, and I I, I believe cher meaning to say, meaning to speak, you know. So it says, um, and uh, this is Second Peter's two and six. And if my phone cut off on me, Akiyam Salakia, I'm gonna probably just continue this lesson. I don't be having a lot of space on my phone. You know, I'm gonna have to buy me an SD card. But hey, man, you know. Like I said, I'm just keep going till it cut off, man. It says, uh, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly, man. So Sodom and Gomorrah was made an example um, unto those who after, after that generation should live ungodly. You know, you people don't give a fuck, man. You know Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed for homosexuality and you still carry on the way that you do in this fucking effeminate ass society, man. It says, uh, this is verse uh, 7, 2 Peter 2 and 7. And deliver just lot vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Which is what the men of the Lord have to deal with in, uh, during this time period that we're living in now. 
you gotta hear these women talking about uh, I like girls and I like girls that like girls and you got the men that fucking uh, 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 condoning that bullshit you got men like uh, uh, dealing with other men you know you got fucking Esau the so called white man promoting pride festivals and all this other faggot ass shit you know what I'm saying and not only that man just just living here period man being ruled over by these heathens man that shit out of vex your righteous soul because they don't set up the laws of their society in um um in a, a, a how do I say it Salakia Akim. They don't set up their laws to coincide with the Heavenly Father's laws. They set their laws up in direct opposition to the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the most high his son, man. You know. That's why the scriptures tell you that. Uh, Yahweh and Yahweh are spiritually crucified in this society on the daily. You got fucking Halloween, Halloween coming up. You got fucking Thanksgiving coming up. You got fucking uh, 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 Christmas coming up. And Jake finna get ready to celebrate all these wicked ass holidays, man. You know what I'm saying? The Heavenly Father is, 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 is spiritually crucified in this society on the daily. And so are the elect, man. You know, the scriptures tell you we die daily, man. This is uh, 2 Peter's uh, 2 and 9. The Lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. So some of y'all, man, you niggas that think y'all are getting off right now, man, y'all ain't getting off. The Heavenly Father is just wise on how to save your ass for these fucking nuclear missiles, man. You might think you done got off uh, uh, with the murders you done committed. With the uh the thievery you'd have committed, man, with the fucking wickedness you'd have committed, period. But you haven't, man. The Heavenly Father is he knows how to preserve the righteous, you know what I'm saying? And deliver the ungodly, I mean the godly out of temptations, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. Meaning Esau the so-called white man, too. Not only two-thirds of our people, but Esau mainly Esau the so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? You know, so you elites who think that you're going to escape, who think that your, your, your fucking doomsday bunkers are going to save you. Hey, man, they're going to save your ass right for a ticket into fucking slavery, man. You elites are going to be the first fruits of slavery. Thus saith the Holy Scriptures, man. You know, let me get uh, Jeremiah 16 and uh, 16, Nakia. Because the Heavenly Father got us fishing. Right now, he got us fishing, man. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, before I get that, Akim, I want to get this. Jeremiah 50 and 40. As Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah and the neighbor cities thereof, saith the Lord, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. And this is talking about Babylon the Great, man. You know? So Babylon the Great, hey, man, this place is going to fucking be burned up. By the thermonuclear missiles as Sodom and Gomorrah was burned up, man. This is Jeremiah 50 and 42. They shall hold the bow and the lance. They are cruel and will not shew mercy. Their voice shall roar like the sea, and they shall ride upon horses. Every one put in array like a man to the battle against the old daughter of Babylon. And the daughter of Babylon represents you Edomites, you so-called white people, man. You know, I got a scripture for that. You know, hitting on how y'all are the daughter of Babylon, man. And, and and when the scriptures talk about Babylon, it's talking about where we are now, man. This is Babylon, and it's also spiritual Sodom and Egypt. Pursuant to uh, Revelations 11 and 8, I believe. So let me get um, Psalms 137. Because the daughter of Babylon represents Edom, you so-called white people, man. And uh, like I said, I can, I'm going to try and close this up. Because this is just an impromptu, man. Jake been catching hell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but dealing with it at the same time, though. You know? Sometimes, hey, man, in this truth, man, you're going you gonna to fall all the time in this truth. You're going to fall... I like the scriptures say, a righteous man fall up seven times and riseth up again, man. Seven represents completion. So you're going to always fall in this truth, but you just got to get back up, man. You know what I'm saying? Jake done been 
trying to nullify the deeds of their flesh. Jake then being, you know, <laughs> battle against, battling against various spirits, man. But it is what it is, man. Um, you know, there is no temptation that is taking you which 